first we're affected by what we know. When I talk to the kids in high school classes, college classes, that's the first thing I tell them. Get the information while you're here. Right, nothing worse than being stupid when you get out of school. All right, what's going on, guys? As you can see, I just got this Mazda 3 clean for the very first time since I've bought this car. It's always been raining out and stuff like that. I had to bust out the pressure washer, but here we are, and it is finally clean. So with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and plasti dip this little middle, this little middle grill piece. I may do the Mazda emblem. I'm not too sure at this moment yet. And then I'm also gonna do the back side as well. <clears throat> so there's your little Mazda emblem, and then I'm gonna leave the Sky Active on there. And then your Mazda 3, I'm probably gonna black that out as well. We'll see though. But first things first, I'm gonna go ahead and back the car into the garage because I need to get out of that Florida sun for a little bit. So odds are, if you're watching this video, you are an old subscriber of mine. Um, but if not, and you're a new subscriber or stumbled upon this video, welcome to the channel. And uh, basically what I'm gonna do is use Plasti Dip. It's a liquid vinyl, basically. And you can remove it at any point in time. And it's really simple and easy to do. So if you guys don't know me yet, I hate driving a stock car. <laughs> so I have to do some kind of simple modification to it so yeah what i'm going to be doing like i said before is i'm going to black out this little chrome trim right here and then i'm going to be doing the same thing to the back side um still depending on what that centerpiece would look like but i might i may be doing that too so what i'm going to be doing right now is i'm going to go ahead and mask off all of the surrounding paint and make sure i don't get any overspray on there because that would not be bueno and then uh, we'll go ahead and apply a few coats of black plasti dip and it i'll show you in a second so one of the plus sides of moving into a new house is we have a whole bunch of boxes, a whole bunch of paper, so I can go ahead and protect this car for the good. Um, but here is that plastic dip I was talking about. I bought this over at Walmart. This was probably $6 at most. I can't remember the price of it. And then I have painter's tape, which also comes in handy because we were painting the house and that's just lying around. So let me go ahead and mask all this off. I'll throw a little time lapse in there for you guys. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys back up once we start applying some plastic dip. And for those of you, your first time Plasti dipping something, you want to make sure your surface is clean, which I've already done previously after washing the car. I went, get, I went ahead and wiped it down again because you want a clean surface. That way everything sticks evenly and it's going to adhere much longer and it's going to preserve how, how long you have to keep it on there. So it's a good rule of thumb. Uh, this is shit I dreamed about when I was only four. Sugar, water, mac and cheese, we were broke and poor yeah. Court evictions, landlords never show remorse Now I'm in the building, when they greet me they gon' hold the door yeah. I never needed your acceptance, this is my destiny I made devil's work and turned it into God's blessings We're from California, I'm still not too sure what's worse The humidity out here? Or the dry heat of the Mojave Desert? <laughs> so at least the Mojave Desert had a wind It kind of felt like an air dryer But at least there's a gust of wind right now, it's kind of stagnant no wind going on and the humidity is kicking in so not feeling too happy right now or not not feeling too cool right now it's nigga i'm breaking your spirit i told myself if i go out then i'm gonna lie my wrist if i die today i'm happy for the life i live and my son is only three he'd be like mama rich told him go outside and play just being stopped by six i done made my nigga all right as you can see a little bit of sweat finally put in in this car now it just needs a little bit of blood sweat blood and some tears catch up with that car over there so there's been some bloodshed on that car over there but now that I'm nice and sweaty this is all pretty much set up kind of a little bit of overkill but if you guys don't know if you haven't painted anything or messed around with Plasti Dip um, the thing is it's easy to clean up but why waste your time and create a longer job to clean up over spray when you can go ahead and take care of it um, Plasti Dip is pretty forgiving. You can basically just rub it off or get some goo gone and it'll come off. But as you can see, got the chrome trim over here. Um, it should come off relatively easy if I got some on the headlights, so I'm not too worried there. And uh, yeah, basically I masked everything off. It does not have to be perfect. 
So for an example, right here you can see it's not it's not perfect. So plastic tape is gonna rip right about there at that seam. And you guys shouldn't have to worry about that. But here we go. We're gonna go ahead and start the first coat. So if you're in a cold environment or if you're gonna do it in the winter, I highly suggest putting the plastic dip can and let it submerge in a bucket of water and that will basically liquefy all the stuff in here because if not it's gonna be coming out chunky. I did that from experience on that car so it's a little lesson to learn there. But since it's hot outside, I think we'll be okay. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna apply probably three to four coats of plastic dip on here. And that first coat you wanna make sure it's very light and then add on from there, uh, giving about 10 minutes per coat before you're applying the next one. So pretty much like so. You can still see the silver on there, but starting to get a little coat. That's what you want for your first layer. Make sure you get underneath as well. All right, so we'll come back in another 10 minutes. While we're waiting for that, since this is plastic dip, I'm gonna go ahead and play around with something. We'll see how this turns out. All right, so that was just my third coat. I'm gonna do one more, and then I'll wait about 30 minutes on that last coat before I start ripping out the tape and the paper. That way, it gives everything the chance to dry and you're not peeling up plasti dip and ruining your whole project. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we'll see. I'm, I'm really excited to see, and kind of nervous, just to see how this one's gonna come out. So, you guys probably already tell right now, but if you guys don't know Mazda guys, they have that Evil M that they do. It kind of comes out like this and ends about here. That's what I'm going to try to do right here. And uh, I don't know how it's going to look, but we'll see. Decided to go ahead and figure. I go ahead and test it out. As far as overspray, not too bad. There's a couple spots up here that I might have to touch up here later on. But that will be easy, like I said. Um, comes out very well. And I uh, forgot to mention, I probably should have mentioned this at the beginning of the video. But it's uh, if you have got if you guys have a garage, I highly recommend putting it in there. It keeps the dust and wind away, or at least uh, to a, it minimizes the dust and debris they can get onto the surface. So highly recommend getting into a garage. If you don't have one like that, go somewhere where you can block the wind. Um, that would definitely help out. All right, it's been 30 minutes since the last coat, and I feel like Christmas morning. And oh, the rain's coming out now. Perfect timing, so we're gonna go ahead and unwrap this car. I should probably grab my stuff out of the rain before it gets absolutely soaked. Which I don't even know why that mattered. The dang power washer. <laughs> but here we go, this is probably like my favorite part because it's like satisfying to watch. So let's go ahead and do it together. See the damage. Not bad, not bad, not bad. So, when you go ahead and peel it, you want to make sure you're going slow. You go too fast, you're gonna end up ripping your hard work. And that's not what you wanna do, right?
Hopefully you guys can see this. There you go. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. As you can tell, got some cleanup to do right here. Well, almost done. I wanted to stop and well experience this part together. And I also wanted to show you this little blemish right there. That's the only place where it kind of ripped. So that kind of sucks. I'll have to go ahead and fix that. But other than that, besides some little touch-ups, I'm getting this guy off, which we're going to do right now. That'll be it. Let's see how this looks. Yep, so there's the M. Now the real trick is to see what that's gonna look like. All right, we move this side. Hmm, a little off-centered, but you guys can see what I was trying to do. Just get the M. So I'll probably touch that up down here, cut that off a little bit, and I think we'll be all right. I'm far away, it looks like an M, huh? Don't look bad from far away. Anyways, I'm not gonna bore you guys with the cleanup process and fixing up that M. If it doesn't come out good, I'm just gonna go ahead and scrub everything off on the M and then call it a day. But, just wanna say thanks for watching. Uh, if you guys are interested in Mazda 3, I'll have a couple more videos on here. But this is my daily, so I just want to do little things for for the pleasure to my eyeballs because I hate a stock car. But uh, yes, that's my daily. If you guys don't know, this is my 2015 Rally Art. And I do have some cool and exciting news coming for this girl as well. Um, yep. I'm not going to give any hints to that one yet, but uh, stay tuned because it's something exciting that I've been waiting for for a while. And I finally bit the bullet and uh, went ahead and bought them. So they're actually on their way right now. And I should be getting them here next week. And then the following week, we'll be doing more stuff to it to put it on the car. But that's it for this video in regards to the Mazda 3 Plasti Dip of the front. If you guys have any questions, concerns on how I did this process, or any other car related questions pertaining to the Rally or the Mazda, go ahead and leave your question down in the comments below and I'm pretty good at answering most of them but uh yeah so that's gonna wrap up this video before it starts raining again so I want to say thanks for watching if you're new here consider subscribing for the OG guys thanks as always for the support I'd be doing a little prayer emoji little hands together but uh obviously I'm holding the camera rant over never live your life on idle and I'll see you in the next one peace of course I think of this as I'm saying goodbye to the vlog but in order to get off the extra plastic dip residue i highly recommend using uh, gugon that's helped me in the past and it's going to continue to help me so um you can pick that up at basically any store i get mine at walmart pretty cheap and uh, it comes in a little orange little it's an orange little liquid so you can't really miss it but it helps tremendously with projects like this